Hello, I'm Amelia. And I'm Abby. And this is Spooky Stories with the Sinister Sisters. Woo! I was going to say this episode is about but I I didn't ask you what you think the episode's about. Do you have do you have any ideas? Ghost. Ghost. That's it. Ghost. <laughs> it's not a very creative idea. Well, it's also yeah. incorrect. So, oh. do you want to do you oh, want to try really again? It's not about ghosts. It's not about ghosts. Oh. I have no clue then. I really thought it was just going to be about ghosts. Yeah, I told you it was going to be like some Reddit stories. Yeah. So but I it's I'd... not ghosts. What? Yeah. This Take another so... guess. Am I going to guess dolls? Dolls? Yeah, I I went and found Reddit stories about dolls. Like haunted that dolls. don't include ghosts. Like haunted. Oh, I guess it's our ghost, huh? Mm, mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't know then. Okay, so I found a bunch of different stories about geocaching and randonautica. Do you know what those are? I th- I know what I think I know what geocaching is. Is that where you go and find different? stuff that people lay out yeah so geocaching it's like um people will go and hide an object and then you'll go and search for it like using a gps thing right and then what's the other one called uh randonautica well that one's later on well i think i think i know what that is but i'm i'm sure you do but i'm not i'm not gonna go in and then like give the definition of it until we're there Okay, so whenever we get there, ask me again, and I'll see if I'm right. <laughs> okay. <sighs> so, so are these all true Reddit stories then? Well, presumably, as far as I'm aware, everything's true. Presumably, that's not the word. Presumably, yeah. That's supposedly, what supposedly true. As far as I'm aware, all of these are true. Okay. However, it's the internet. True, 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 so. True. You never really know. Very, very true. So geocaching, it's, it sounds fun. Because there were some non-scary stories that I had read. And it was like, I'd go geocaching. I'm I not against it. I, don't I think it's pretty it. fun. I don't get the point of it. Well, you just... Like a big scavenger hunt? Yeah. Okay. Like, it's 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 just people will hide things. Are they hiding And then you'll me? go and find them and, like, log it in your thing and be like... You'll, you'll leave a little review on it and be like, wow, so fun. Okay, questions. Do you take the item with you? Um, I don't think so. I think some of them you can, but I okay. think for the most part you don't. You're not allowed. Two. Second question. Are they leaving money? No. Count me off then. I ain't doing it. <laughs> <laughs> you would only go geocaching if there was money involved? Yeah, I, I will do a scavenger hunt for money. I ain't doing a scavenger hunt for something else. I mean, I don't know. Just don't It's like just me. like, if you want to get out of the house, explore a little. You go, you go geocaching. You can, you know, safely explore. Because you're not allowed to do something. I think you can do it in, like, an unsafe area, but you have to mark it unsafe. But you're not allowed to go where there's not a path to it. So you can go and be like, people have been here before, but I haven't. So it's exploring. Hmm. But, you know, as as fun as it sounds, there are some really weird things that people have made into, like, caches. There's one. People have made into caches. Is that, like, what you can catch? Like, what you can find? <laughs> it, well, yeah, you go and hunt okay. for, like, a cache. But not, like, money cache. Not, like, money. <sighs> this is disappointing, but okay. So, <laughs> I didn't go and look into like the background of this um because i just i i didn't want to it was like the last thing i found and i i didn't want to fact check it or look for any other information 
I didn't want to put but effort into my. <laughs> I didn't want to put effort into it. Look, this was like at the very end of geocaching. I was like, this is not enough for a full episode. I'm I'm not even going to put effort into it because I may not even do this. <laughs> and then I I figured out what Brandon Nautica was, and I was like, okay, I'm saved. We're good. I, think I know what that is. You have to ask me that because I am very confident in what I think. <laughs> And if I'm wrong, I think you do, because there was something that happened with it where it was very popular for a minute. Okay. Um, if I'm wrong, I'm cutting it out. <laughs> you, know. you can cut it out, but you send me the unedited episode. You said that last episode. And I didn't do anything, because I forgot about it. But one of these days, I will. <laughs> anyway, 1997 to 1981... Nine people were murdered on a trail, um, some trail in California. Okay, stop, pause. Is this, like, a hiking trail or, like, the yeah. trail you talked about that was not an actual No, it's a hiking trail. It's not, it's not the Oregon Trail. Okay. Um, one of the people, the second victim was Barbara Schwartz. Schwartz? And Schwartz. Oh, that's from my show. My okay. Rules. There's a Tom Schwartz and everybody calls him a Schwartzy. So. Okay. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> off topic, off topic. But apparently it's um like a thing where you can go and make a geocache intended to be a memorial. What? So someone had set one within 100 feet of where her body was found in memorial of her. I don't know if it was a family member. Because here's the thing. If... And I don't know if geocaching existed in, like, the 1970s, 1980s. But... If she enjoyed geocaching, that was her hobby. And, like, her partner or her sibling had gone and done this. I could maybe excuse that. I'd think it's a little odd. But I wouldn't be like, that's really weird. Abby, if I get killed, please don't make a geocaching spot of where I got killed. <laughs> mm, I'm going to now. Oh, well then I guess I'm going to have to haunt you. Mm, because that's okay, I'll, we can continue making episodes with your ghost. With me as a ghost? <gasps> with you as a ghost. That would be so cool. We would honestly get at least a couple more people listening if we had like a live ghost. Oh my gosh. Maybe I'm a ghost now. Look, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> my thought is, uh, is it like, you know how like whenever you're driving on the side of the road and you see like the, one of those memorials, was is it kind of like that? They had set up there and then they had just said this is a location for it? I, I don't I think so. I think it was like the geocache was specific to be a memorial and not like they placed it on a memorial. That is so strange. It's a little strange. It's a little weird. It's a, yeah, it's very weird. Not only has geocaching been placed near where bodies have been found, they have been the source of bodies being found. What? In, I think it was 2002, um, two people went off on a trail geocaching in South Carolina. Their GPS started... Um, they had, like, turned the wrong way and their GPS pointed them the wrong way. Mm -hmm. Or, like, the way they were supposed to go. But they had to, like, go in, like, a forest kind of area. Ew. So, they, like, walked their way into it and then their dog, because they had a dog with them, um, started acting, like, really strange and was, like, sniffing the ground and digging at it. Um... And at first, they thought, it, like, I don't know, it must be a dead animal or something that he's trying to get at. Yeah. And then they had saw, like, an eye hole in a skull. <laughs> and nearby, they found, like, an arm. So they called the police. And it turns out that um, a man had committed suicide 10 years ago. And no one had ever found his body. Like, no one knew where he went. He was a missing persons case. Mm -hmm. Um, and the only reason the case wasn't shut was because one of the police officers was, like, really close with the guy. 
Okay. So he had kept looking for him and they couldn't find him for 10 years until these guys just went geocaching and stumbled upon him because they went the wrong way. That that just has to be such a that's just such a coincidence. It is. They solved a 10 year missing person case by people who made a mistake, whose GPS made a mistake. Yeah. Ew. That is good job, doggo. I have Give it up for one more story before we go into like Reddit stories. Because these weren't Reddit stories. These are found on like YouTube and and websites and oh, okay. wherever else. Okay. But I have one more until we get to actual Reddit stories. Okay. In twenty sixteen. Australian authorities were sent to a tree. Wait, so that they do had... this stuff in not just America? Yeah, this is like all over. What the heck? All right. <laughs> um, they were like sent to a tree that had Jesus saves William Tyrell spray painted onto it with like red spray paint. And it was like a couple miles from where a three-year-old William Tyrell had gone missing. Like, from where he was last seen, that tree was, and it had spray okay. paint on it. It had, it was a, a geocache, which is how people found the tree. Uh-huh. Um, it had a compass in it, coins in it, post-it notes in it, and a flashlight in it. So, okay. people on Facebook, they were, you know, thinking that someone who did this had to be involved with the kid's disappearance. Like, Mm. why else would that be spray painted? And then other people thought it was supposed to be like a, what was in the cache was supposed to symbolize him finding his way home. Which I don't know. I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say what they think. I would say it's just trying to bring awareness to it. Maybe. But it was, I don't know. It's not, it didn't feel like it was supposed to be to have awareness brought to it. Let me see if I can find the picture. Hold on. And then we'll maybe post it on our Instagram. Okay. Can people at geocaching spots, can they leave items there? Um, I mean, I don't think there's anything against it. I think it's just like people normally don't unless it's their spot they made. Anyway, there's a picture of the tree in the geocache itself. Ew. Okay. Yeah, it's a little creepy looking. Definitely not um, what I thought you were going to show. So they have it in like a jar and that's what that's what you said. What did you say was on it? A flashlight? Um, a compass, a flashlight, coins, and post-it notes. So I guess what's in that bag is post-it notes then? Mm-hmm. That's what okay. I think at least. Okay. That's Jesus. So people were thinking either this was supposed to like symbolize him coming home and it was supposed to be like a kind of memorial to what happened or something. Mm -hmm. Or it was like the person who did it was involved with him disappearing. Which that's what I would think if I saw it. But it turns out someone had put the graffiti on the tree after the cash was placed there. Uh And there was no correlation to it. But it's still... That's kind of odd. It's just kind of like... I wonder if they knew the cache was there or not. Like, if they were Uh... geocaching. And they were like, hey, this just happens to be where a three-year-old disappeared. Let me make sure everyone knows. Maybe. Or maybe... Either way. Or maybe, again, maybe it was like a family member who didn't know that the geocache was there. And they just... It, it could have been. That's just an odd coincidence. Again, an odd coincidence. It is. It's a lot of odd coincidences. That is so strange. Are you are you ready for Reddit stories now? I am. Are these some of people- these... Go ahead. Some of these I'll say the name to you. Other ones I have no idea how to pronounce the name. So... <laughs> they don't... They don't get the credit. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. What were you going to ask? Oh, are these people who have been geocaching and they had an experience? Yes. Okay. Okay. The first one 
It's not necessarily scary. Mm, I I would say it's scary, but not in like a more in yeah. a scary that someone would do that. Okay. So they say my ex found out about geocaching after stealing all of my info in every app I'd ever used. Oh, I thought geocaching sounded fun. He and his friend Jonah put 80 house keys to my house in one of those caches. <gasps> along with using them to pass information and humiliate me. It made its way to Tuscan, Arizona. This was from Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Made its way to Tuscan, Arizona. He said it was unacceptable for me to break up with him. He's invested. (laughs) What the heck? What the actual... I... That's like psychopathic. New Hampshire to Arizona? Yeah. That's a 40-hour drive. Just placing house keys and information on this person. That is like... That is the... Truly psycho. That is the cruelest... I wonder what made him... (laughs) The ex. Maybe we should be asking that question. What'd he do? (laughs) What did he do? I'd imagine he did similar behavior like this. Oh, for sure. For sure. A hundred percent. What if what if he didn't do anything and this was the reason that they broke up? <laughs> that imagine doing this to someone you're still dating. That would be even worse. That is just awful. Like why It you, is. Why would you do that? It was It's awful. It's kind of funny not having experienced it, not being in that situation. I can be like, that's so bad. It's funny. Yes, I agree. But I would not want to experience that. (laughs) Oh my gosh. Well, I hope the person changed their locks. Yeah, I think they um, said later on in their post, because I didn't do the full post. It was like multiple paragraphs. Not really. It was like two paragraphs, but they had (laughs) really poor grammar. Oh, God. And I couldn't translate to something readable. Um, But they had said they had changed their locks. I would have moved, to be honest. I probably would have, too. Because who knows what information they put? I would have packed up and left immediately. Who knows what information they put on the cards? That's just awful. Oh, I wonder if they ended up trying to find a spot so they could figure out what kind of information they put on there maybe or i'm thinking someone had found it and i have like a phone number or something yeah and they had texted them and said hey did you know all of this was here yeah i like to think there's some good people in the world hopefully (laughs) this next story is from user lynn 316 a young i'm already messing up my young son and I were cast were catching. <laughs> Do you need to start over? Yeah. Okay, start over. My young son and I were caching by a local canal spot in an area with poor GPS. There was a path running beside the canal, but was quite overgrown. The cache were, was meant to be small. They were usually in small plastic cylinders about the size of your thumb. For, like, if you didn't watch five hours of geocaching videos for this episode, there's your context for what a geocache can look like. (laughs) So he spent about an hour going inch by inch over an area about 25 feet in diameter. We found nothing, so we left. The next day, I heard about a murder from a young girl whose body was found about five to ten feet max from where we were searching. Going by the time of the act and where the body was found, it was definitely there when we were searching. So thank God the GPS didn't send us in her direction. Oh. My. God. That sounds awful. Oh. My. They got so lucky. They really did. Because. Especially with, like, him having a son there. He said 
in his post, um, uncovering the corpse of a girl his age would no doubt have a lifelong impact. So that would have been awful. I like to think that it was the girl's spirit that was like, please don't come over here. I don't want to come. <laughs> yeah, that would. That is absolutely horrible. It is. Five to ten feet from where they were searching. Yeah. That is so close. Oh. It's kind of scary Ooh. thinking that you be that very, close and you just don't even notice. That is very, very scary. This one is from user I'm the best at space. Okay. Go you. I used to be really into geocaching and would try to grab at least a few in each city. One time I was in Savannah, Georgia. Yeah, that's Georgia. I'm, what is it? GA. I think I'm, that's Georgia. I'm not good with states. I'm not either. They didn't teach it in school. Oh, they taught me in school. I just didn't They didn't teach it. me in school. I think they would have taught it in fourth grade. And that's whenever we switched to online. Oh. And I think in online they taught it in third. Either that or they just didn't teach it to me. But. Or they taught to you and you just didn't pay attention. <sighs> I always paid attention. <clears throat> what are you talking about? Anyway. <laughs> I saw there were several near the Bonaventure Cemetery. I don't know if I'm saying that right. But that's what it looks like. We'll just, so, pretend. We'll just pretend. It's the oldest cemetery in one of the oldest cities in the U.S. A place filled with monuments and statues of deceased children. Creepy enough on its what? own near sunset, but that wasn't even the creepy part. The last geocache was just outside the cemetery near the water. We started heading towards it and, some, and through some very dense mangrove trees and brush. We were almost about to turn and look for an easier way through when we came to a clearing and saw a set of eyes staring back at us. Not mm. just one set of eyes, but dozens of beady eyes stop, stop, on a tree stop, stop, encircling stop. the clearing. Stop, stop, stop. Ew. <laughs> there are dozens of baby dolls and puppets. Some tied down, some crucified, some hanging by the neck or upside down by the feet. And in the center were remains of fire and charred bones. I hate that. It gets worse. Oh my god, stop. I didn't think they were going to be this spooky -ooky. I'm not one to believe in ghosts or demons, but with the sun nearly completely down and knowing that the cemetery would close soon, we decided to get out of there. Um, I love that those were the reasons and not that they saw that. Not that they saw dolls crucified. It was the fact that, oh, the cemetery's getting ready to close. Boy. Uh-uh. Uh -oh. One person I was with with left nope. One person I was with left a comment on the website about how creepy the geocache was, and that we'd have to go back so we had a little more time in sunlight. The owner of the geocache freaked out and said he didn't do any of that. A few days later, he went there and couldn't find any evidence of what we saw. <gasps> what? Imagine you see something that scary and you go and write something like, haha, really funny how scary that is. And the person who made it is like, I didn't do that. That wasn't me. <laughs> that gives me so much anxiety. <laughs> I'm never, not that I was going to, but I'm never going geocaching. Never going geocaching in a cemetery. Absolutely no. not. Maybe in like, you know, a big city with lots of people where someone can see if there's cult activity going on. Ew, 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 ew. <laughs> That's all I have to say is ew. Uh. <laughs> are you are you ready for the next one? I don't know anymore. Are you ready for the next story? Yeah. This one is by user KPO987. KPO? I took a minute deciding if I was going to say that name, because I didn't know if it was said KPO, and then I was like, I'll just say the letters. It's fine. Well, I hope it doesn't mean something bad. <sighs> Probably not. 
Well, I don't know. It's on Reddit. Mm, that's true. Anyway, <laughs> when my brother was about 11, my family was really into geocaching. So for his birthday, my parents figured a bunch of boys his age should go outside doing something active. So they went geocaching. <laughs> The geocache they went to was next to an old graveyard. Oh my gosh, not again. Why are we geocaching in graveyards? We should stay away. They're, that's like definitely where ghosts live. And you're just like, let's go geocache here. No. I bet people went Pokemon Go hunting in graveyards. I want it. You can't tell me they didn't, but I bet they did. They did, but I wouldn't. I'm smarter than that. It was a pretty popular one, and one my family had found before. My dad went out with like seven 11-year-olds, and they went searching when someone found bones. My dad realized they were human, and they got out of there and called non-emergency police. What? Um, That's an emergency. (laughs) I mean, it's a graveyard. I don't care. That's an emergency. It was as my parents suspected. Bones from an old grave had shifted over time and just so happened to emerge out of the ground to that spot. Okay, hold on, because that can actually happen because my mother told yeah. me. Yeah. I just learned that a couple weeks you ago. You just learned that? A couple weeks ago. Mom said, I think she said, Do you know if it like rains so much or like there's so much flooding they can all come up? And I don't remember if that's what she said. But she did tell me that they can do that. And I that is the day that I decided that I'm not going to be buried. <laughs> that's the day. Because I don't need no dogs coming in the graveyard and make, take me. Uh-uh. <laughs> you think dogs are just, like, living in graveyards waiting for the bones to come out of the ground? Stray dogs. Second of all, we live in Ohio, and everybody uses graveyards as... Like walking trails in the morning for workouts. You don't want them to collect your bones? No. I want to keep my bones. <laughs> I do not need my bones being scattered everywhere. It'd be like a a scavenger hunt for your ghost. Oh, find Amelia's bones. Everybody find all find your bones. bones. <laughs> I think I'll pass. <laughs> I have One more Reddit story before we go to Random Nautica. Okay. This one has pictures with it. Oh. I think it has multiple pictures. It does have multiple pictures. You'll have to send them. I won't. And I'll have to post them. This one is by user Freeze Easy. All right, Freeze Easy. That's a good rapper name. Last year, on Super Bowl Sunday, I went out caching in a local wildlife reserve. Not a graveyard for once. That's a good day to be going geocaching. Yeah, no one else is doing it. No. And who wants to stay home and watch the Super Bowl? Exactly. While there, I went after a cache called Crouching Catcher Hidden Snake. It's a horrible name. Kinda, Yeah. Based off everything I read on the cache, at a certain point, I should be able to crouch down and see a cache hiding under some rocks. I also assumed the cache was disguised as a snake. (laughs) About 50 feet or so off the trail, I see what I think is a snake under a rock. I get closer only to see, and more specifically hear, that it was a real rattlesnake right at the geozone. I started to did not find my way out of there and almost stepped right on another one as it turns out. This was the first 70 plus Fahrenheit day where all the local snakes were coming out to sun themselves. What an idiot. Let me me get you these pictures of these snakes. Okay, so I wanted to see the pictures until now I know the story. (laughs) Do you think Don't it was worry. Like, they're not they're not scary pictures of snakes. Do you think it was like the snake's home that somebody's like, haha, this would be funny to put a geocache on? I don't think so. I think it's I just bet it like was. a trail. I know, I bet it was like there was a snake hole 
And the person's like, oh, I would be, this is such a good prank to put a geocache here. I did read another story where someone had put um, a geocache, or not a geocache, but they put bees inside a geocache. That is so rude, not only to the people, but to the bees. Mm hmm. They put a bee nest in there, more specifically. That's so rude. Someone no, found it and was able to get the bees out of it. But they said they got stung a couple times, and they were well, like, I "Imagine, would have been awful if someone they were who was allergic. allergic to bees." That that's horrible. I appreciate the way you read those stories, though. That you put the spooky one in the middle and kind of died it off. At the end. <laughs> I appreciate. Yeah, that. I figured. I figured there weren't many scary stories about geocaching. It seems like a relatively spooky, safe activity. There's no, you know, spooks that are going to jump out of nowhere. It's a pretty relatively safe thing to do. I love... Oh my gosh. I love the square boxes. The red boxes. I do too, because there were some pictures where you could not tell the snake was the there first without one them. You could barely, the first one you couldn't even tell. You can barely tell with the red box there. Mm-hmm. So, Randonautica. Okay, wait. I get a guess. This is what I think yeah. it is. Not an anime, because it definitely sounds like an anime. It's not an anime. But is it the thing? I don't I don't know how to explain what it is. Is it the thing where people, like, are sent to a certain location that's supposed to, like, tell them the future or something? Um, not exactly. Kind of, but, like, not telling them the future. Well, so I think with I Randonauka, talk where it was, like, the some whatever they used was, like, trying, not telling them the future, but they used it as, like, a decision maker. Yeah. Um, that's how some people use it. So, Randonautica, it, you can put in your intention, and it'll give you a random set of coordinates. So, okay. say you put in fun, like, you want to have fun. Maybe it'll yeah. send you, like, near a beach or near, like, an amusement park. It'll just okay. give you a random set of coordinates. You go follow them. Okay. Does like does the name Randonautica sound familiar to you at all? Rando nodding sounds familiar. Okay. But I think I just made that up in my head. No, it, you may not have because you may have heard of the story. I'd be really surprised if you didn't. Is it the story? Okay, it's I'm both kidding. true crime and TikTok related. Okay. Okay. Is it the story where the kids found the dead body in the suitcase? Yes. Yes, I love this story. So, a group of teenagers um, have been using Randonautica and posting like vlogs of where they go on TikTok. Uh-huh. On June twentieth of twenty twenty, the group was like the the GPS had sent them to a Seattle shoreline. Okay. That had a black suitcase on it. Mm-hmm. The group goes near it. They say, like, how awful of a smell is coming from it. Um, and then they, like, push one of the girls in the group to go and open the suitcase. That's so mean. And whenever she opens it, they say there's, like, an overwhelming smell as soon as they open the suitcase. Like, a really just disgusting yeah. smell. Yeah. So they call the police who come and get the bag and confirm it has human remains in it and also said they had found multiple other bags in the area like it. Just washing up on the shoreline? (sighs) Not washing up on the shoreline, but kind of scattered everywhere. Yeah. They did find out the remains belong to a 35-year-old named Jessica Lewis and a 27-year-old named Austin Wiener, oh. who had multiple gunshot wounds. Ew. So, not the best thing to find. They didn't say what their intention was. I've, I'm kind of really upset about it. I want to know, because some people, they put their intention as some scary things. Yeah. Um, you know, we'll, we'll get to even the next one. A little scary. But, like, they didn't say what their intention was. So I wonder... They could have put anything. And then it could have been like, right. hmm, you want to find a corpse. Yeah. Ew. Now, with 
I guess I shouldn't say that, but with it's not like geocaching. So a person doesn't have to put in that location, right? No, it just so like it randomly like generates it. Pure coincidence that they found mm-hmm. this. Yeah, I remember. I remember whenever that story first happened. It was kind of crazy. It was way crazy. Like I, I saw it. Kind of whenever it first happened. And I was like, this is definitely fake. Oh, like, yeah, they definitely too. put that there. And I didn't really know what random Nautica was. I didn't care to, to figure it out. But I was like, they just, like, went to a random beach and put a suitcase there. Yeah. And then it Not was funny the at all. Like, it's, it it's was... a stupid joke. And then it was on the news. And then it was on the news! Oh, that is awful. Did they ever find the person who did it? Um, I don't know. The last article that I had found was, like, um, July 2020, and they said they hadn't. It was only, like, a month after this had happened. So, I don't know. Strange. The next, all of these, um, Randonautica stories are very short. Okay. Um, there's a couple that are a little longer, but for the most part, it's, they put something in. This is the scary thing that happened. Are these Reddit stories? These are not Reddit stories. Oh, okay. These are just like... Online, things you found online. Yeah, they're pretty much descriptions of what happens in a TikTok. Got it, okay. So it's like a five-second video. Okay. Someone had set their intention as an ending. An ending, okay. Okay. And they were brought to a cemetery. Ew. And to make it worse, the exact set of coordinates led him to an open, freshly dug grave. No. At least it knows, you know, what an ending is. At least it's like, you know what? I'll make it so poetic. (laughs) Oh my gosh. I hate that with every ounce in me. (laughs) <laughs> it's like is it like a google thing or is it like an app it's an app I kind of want to do it no I don't <laughs> I'd be too scared I'd be too scared I have to see I don't think I added it I did not someone had because I went and I looked on tiktok because I had to see if it was worth adding it wasn't it was a little disappointing <laughs> But you're going to say it anyways. But I'm going to say it anyways. Someone, I didn't say what their intention was, but they had, like, followed it. And they found, it looked like a kind of construction zone. Like, there was a lot of dirt there. And they saw a shoe in it. Mm-hmm. And they started, like, hitting the shoe what to see if it the- was a person or not. And they thought they saw, like, a pair of jeans connected to the shoe. And they ran off. They left. They didn't call the cops or anything. And then they come back, like, two, three days later with their boyfriends. And then it's just, like, a shoe. But if it was, like, if someone was buried under that. Why did they not call anybody? Why did they not call the cops as soon as they saw it? What is wrong with these? I would have. I would have been like, hey, it could be nothing. We literally. But there's a shoe here. It might be a person attached. I don't know. We literally I think we squeeze driving. the shoe, see if there's a foot inside. Mm, you got more guts than me. We were literally driving, and you saw what you thought was a human leg. <laughs> <laughs> drove back around, ready to call the police. Little did we know, it was definitely not a human leg. It was not. It looked it looked like a foot. Like, it, it yeah. looked like a severed foot. I don't even remember what it was. It was some, like, thing that fell off a car. Oh, it was, yeah. But we were ready. We were ready for it. We were like, what do we do? What do we do? Well, <laughs> the answer is do you call the police. But then I was like, well, what if they think we did it? Just, we, no, of course not. But I definitely would not squeeze it. You're, you're a little cray for that because. Well, it was just a shoe. Like, there wasn't anything else. It was only one shoe. So it's not like there are two shoes. If there are two shoes, then I'd be like, this is definitely a person under here. But it was just one. And it wasn't that tall of a hill of dirt. Here's the thing. If I hit my shoe right now, I'd be able to tell if my foot's in it or not. Without 
me knowing if there's like my foot's in it. Like there's, mm. if I hit it now, it's gonna feel different if I hit it whenever my foot's in it. Yeah, that is true. Just saying. That's a good point. Just the next point. story. It's a little. It's a little. A little more creepy. Aww. I feel like they get a little more creepy as we go on. No, um, it's the other way you did it. But the last one, it's it's not creepy. It's kind of cute. Okay, okay, it's a little good. like weird, but it's pretty cute. It's a cute okay. story. It has a happy okay, ending. Okay, good. So a man named Ricky, he set his intention as something creepy, and before he before he had set his intention as anything. Him and a friend were joking about what they should set the intention as. And one of them said war. And he said, well, if we put war, we're going to end up getting blown up by a mine because of how accurate this is. So he puts in something creepy, goes to the location, and it's like a memorial to someone. Okay. Who died after being blown up by a mine in war. Stop it. You're lying. <laughs> that is so creepy. You are lying. Like, that's so weird. What the heck? What are the odds? Phones listen. They listen. Not just phones, the app listens. That's just so scary, dude. Crazy. Somebody set their intention. I think this is one of the worst things. Oh no, this is a new story? Yes, this is a new oh, story. Boy. I think this is one of the worst things that could happen while using any kind of app like this. Okay. They set their intention as friendship. Which, like, Aww. you know, yeah. that's cute. That's nice. Maybe bring you to, like, a bar or something. Maybe bring you in a bar or, like, a park. Somewhere yeah. social. It brought them to this, like, parking lot area. And they, you know, they followed the coordinates and it led them to a white van. Oh, heck no. No, 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 no. Yeah. So they, they had drove. So they were in their car. They didn't just walk there. Really not. No. Nope, nope. Which, like, thank God, they probably would have been kidnapped. Um, because after, like, they got creeped out and they decided to leave. And after they had left, they saw the van was following them. And it chased them until eventually they had turned and lost it. I have no words. It's I super no scary. I have no words. I would have gotten creeped <laughs> out just being brought to the parking lot, to be honest. Yeah, maybe. But maybe it was like, I don't know, a Walmart parking lot. I don't think I'd get scared being brought or to a Walmart, Walmart parking, lot. parking lot. Or like a Target. I don't think I'd be scared with that. that is so, do you think they were actually following them or is it just a weird quinky dink? Um, I think so. Because they had said they'd been driving for like however amount of time. And it's like... I just want to know you make that, that many happened. random turns trying to get away from someone and they follow you. I just want to know how that happens. Like, how did they get sent to such a random location and then that ends up happening? So, some people think that, like, this app... They, there's a few theories about it. Because some people, they'll, like, have such big coincidences. Like, they'll put in red and get led to a red couch. What the heck? So some people think that, like, the people who made the app are going and planting things. Yes. And then giving you the coordinates. So if you put in soccer, it'll tell you where a soccer ball is. Like, they'll plant a soccer ball and be like, go to these coordinates. How long does it take you to get the coordinates? I, I don't... I thought it was immediate. Which I is why so that theory doesn't make sense at all. Right. But other people think there's, like, hackers who go and hack in and find what coordinates you're going to and go there first. I can see that. 
That one I could see. I don't know if that's necessarily what's happening. But then still, why would it send you to a random location? I think it's just some, like, funny coincidences. But some people also think it's, like, demonic. I saw a thing. Someone had said that they think using the app is the same as making a deal with the devil. And every time you get a random set of coordinates, it's like shaking his hand. Oh, ew. And I was hearing you say I would totally use this app, but... Yeah. Never mind, never mind, never mind. <laughs> the, I saw the creator, because he uses the app. Like, the person who made the app uses it, which I'd weird? hope so. Does he seem creepy? He seems like a normal guy. It's always the normal ones. He said he's had some scary things happen. Um, he had put... I don't know if he had put an intention in or not. Or I don't know what the intention he put in. I don't I don't really remember. Um, but he had put something in. And he and his friend were talking about how if they put giant skeleton in, they'd go and find one. That's how scary accurate the app is. Um, and they get led to, like, the, the exact coordinates is in the middle of, like, a river. Um, so they just kind of, like, go along the river to where it's like leading them not mm-hmm. in the river though because they're not going to go in the middle of a river right 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 um but right across it someone's like meditating there um and they start talking and completely like out of nowhere the guy who they're talking to says if you go over that hill you can see some giant skeletons what it's kind of, like, super freaky. I don't know how accurate... How is it so accurate? I don't know. The reason that I had said in the beginning that it was, like, to make decisions is because I saw one TikTok of it, and I can't remember what the girl said, but she was trying to figure out what she wanted to do as a job. I don't mm-hmm. remember what she put in, but it, she had, like, two choices, and it had ended up leading her to, like, an animal hospital, which was one of her choices that she was trying to debate against. Yeah, but some then people I will like, use it as choices. But then that, that saw, was the first thing I saw, and I'm like, how accurate is this? Or are these people just going to this? I saw one person had used it to find out what their boyfriend's intentions were. Oh. And, because they had an online boyfriend. It's not like... Oh, okay. So, every single time, they had done, like, three different questions, and every single time, it led them to water. What the heck is that supposed to mean? I I don't know. And then she had put another question, and it led her to, um, like, some hotel or apartment building or something that had the same exact name as the street her boyfriend lives on. So, you know... Maybe I'm jumping to conclusions, but it kind of seems like her boyfriend's going to drown her. Yeah. Here I was thinking you were going to say it brought her to, like, a ring shop. No. Brought her to to water. It brought her to, like, an ocean the first time, like, a beach. The second time it brought her to, like, a different part of the beach. And then I think the third time it was, like, a pond or something. That's kind of freaky. I don't know. I don't. If I ask, what are your, what are your intentions? And I'm just showing water. I don't you think it's going to be good. I don't. I don't swim, so I don't. I don't do? trust that very much. No. So, our next story: a Reddit user. I don't have the username. Um, <laughs> is that the username? Said, or is that what you said? <laughs> I don't have the username. Oh. Okay. It would be really cool if his username was. I don't have the username, but sadly, no. Okay. Um, he set his intention as find something spooky, which, great idea. Good job, buddy. Surprise it didn't bring him to a graveyard. Right. Um, it took him to a forest. He had got, he said he got like a really uneasy feeling, but he kept going, following the coordinates. Um, and it led to, like, a creek in the forest. And this one, 
I'm going to be honest. It seems a little fake. But okay. I'm You're going to ignore that because it's still kind of scary. Okay. He said across the creek there was a pile of dead animals. Mm, seems suspicious. He immediately left, but as he was leaving, he says he saw a large figure standing there watching him. Sounds even more suspicious. It sounds pretty suspicious. But if it was real, horrifying. Yeah. Great plot for like a a horror movie, maybe? Oh, yes. Has anybody made this into a horror movie? I don't think so. I don't... We don't need horror movies based off apps. Because every horror movie with an app, it's like... They're all awful. And it's made by, like, old people who are trying to act like Gen Z and millennials. (laughs) Oh my gosh! Do you not remember that, like, Death Day app video? Or not video, movie? Yeah, I thought it was good, I think. I don't remember what it was about. (laughs) Like, I remember what it was about, but I don't I don't think it was. Yeah. But do you remember the Slender Man one? It's going to be like the Slender Man one. I don't remember the Slender Man one. The Slender Man movie was awful. Well, let's hope the Five Nights at Freddy's is not. I... It's got PETA in it, so there ain't no way it's awful. I think the Five Nights at Freddy's movie is going to be really good. I'm so excited for it. Whenever I it comes out, we'll have, to do, we'll have to do a review on it. We'll have to go see it opening day. Um, no, I'm not going to the theaters for that. You got me effed up. I will. I don't go to theaters, let alone theaters with horror movies, because I scream at a little spider that comes on the screen. <laughs> I'm in a don't worry, I'll I'll go to the theaters and then I'll tell you how many parents brought their little kids, thinking it'd be like <gasps> a nice movie, not knowing what their kids have been playing. Oh my god, I didn't think of that. I hope they put a warning. Well, just because they put a warning doesn't mean people are going to be like, oh, my kid plays this game all the time. It's not bad. Because no one pays attention to what their kid does. I hope parents watch the trailer and realize that it's kind of spooky yuki. Do you really think most parents are going to do that, though? No. But if your parents are cool like mine, then they know what Five Nights at Freddy's is. (laughs) I guess not all parents are hip. A TikTok user had said her intention is death. This one has Why? a video. Why? Hold on. Why? This has a video? Yeah, I gotta find it. That's fine. We don't have to watch the video. No, we have to watch the video. Because yeah. it's kind of heartbreaking. Oh, don't say that. It kind of is. So, this girl, she had set her intention as death. Which. Why would you do that? Super smart. Um. Also, I want to add... Because I don't think we're going to be posting this video on our Instagram. Um, But in the video, it is pitch black outside. So she is doing this, like, in the dark. Do you want me to watch it? Watch it after I... Watch it after? After I explain. Um, But TikTok user... Hmm. Debating on how to say the name. McKenna Ray... Okay. She had set her intention as death. So she was heading up the sp- like driving to the spot. So sh- she wasn't really even there yet. But she had um, looked out the window and said she saw a man laying in the gutter and that his wife was just like sitting there holding him. So she got out of the car and. No, first mistake. Well, second mistake. she got out of the car and another man had come up and shot the man who was in the gutter and the wife had given her her phone so she could call the cops which is like horrifying but on the bright side i did find something um i did a couple of different searches trying to figure out if it was real or not and it was but the man lived. Oh, good. Um, I guess she had done like a a part two to it and had explained everything, said where it was. People found articles about it. So it really happened. Um, That's crazy. But she's deleted it now. So, But well, the man was okay. fine. He went to the okay. hospital. He was shot in the leg. 
Good. Glad you lived. But it's... Hey. She set her intention as death. And yeah, then, why would she do that? I don't know. If I was doing this, I... What is it my attention is something like death? Instead of to like ice cream or mud. I was going to say, honestly, if I did this, we I would set it to food whenever Anthony, Anthony and I can't figure out what we want to eat for dinner. <laughs> I'll, I'll just be like, food. And then wherever you go, if you're brought to a forest, guess you're hunting for your dinner. Yeah, no. <laughs> and honestly... I would not even do it for fun. I would copy the coordinates and put it in my Google Maps before I even drove. Mm. You'd chicken out. Oh, absolutely I would chicken out. A hundred percent. So 100%. go go and watch the, the video. I want okay. I want your live reaction because it's like Okay. Oh wait, I went to TikTok. Oopsies. It's not on TikTok. I sent it Snapchat where we do okay. all our professional stuff. I just went rando naughty. <laughs> I just went rando naughty. And our intention was death. <laughs> we were on our way to the spot. And I look out my window and there's someone laying in the gutter. With their wife literally like on them holding them. And so I parked and got out and he got shot. And then, <laughs> and then she gave me the phone and I had to call the cops. And Darius was he wrapped his jacket around the wound. And then the cops came and we got questioned and he said to leave. And I just dropped Darius off. <laughs> My gosh, she's very emotional. She just watched someone get shot. You would be too. She didn't watch them get shot. Yes, she did. Oh. I thought she just saw him laying down. No, I think she watched them get shot. Oh, well, then maybe I would be emotional. It's kind of traumatic. I think it's just more scary that the fact that what she put in. She and put death and then you. she was brought to an active crime scene. How do you explain that to the cops? You go, hey, I was just driving, and I looked out my window and saw this. Yeah, that would work. Oh, I've got, I've got two more stories. All right, this one is this sounds fake, seems fake. There was a TikTok with it, but the TikTok looked fake. No, oh, okay, but it's a story nonetheless. A group of girls wanted to try out the app, and they didn't say what their intention was, but it brought them to a forest. That's so they, annoying. It is annoying. People need to tell me what they put to look for. If you're going random or not, Ling, tell us what the intention is. Tell us is. what your intention is. That's our advice. Tell us what your intention is, because we want to know. <laughs> we're curious. We want to know what not to look. Exactly. For something that we're never going to do. Exactly. So, they were trying out the app, got brought into a forest, and ended up finding two skulls. One of them that seemed like it was a human skull, and the other one was, like, way smaller. looked like it was, like, I don't know, a squirrel or something. What? I just... They didn't seem scared or, like, oh my god, we found bones. Ah. Uh, So they probably put it there. It definitely seemed like it. Like, it definitely could have been, like, good Halloween decorations. Yeah. Now, I'm going to ask you a question that I don't know if y'all know the answer to. Whenever you put in your intention, do you type it in, or is it, like, pre-written intentions that you can choose from? No, I think you type in your intention. Okay, because that would make a difference if it was pre- If it was, like, predetermined once that you had to pick, would make a difference. But- I'm, like, 90% sure you have to type it. And how far are these people traveling from where they... I don't know. I think you can, like, set a perimeter really or something. Okay. But okay. I think I think some people, like, make a whole day out of it. Uh-uh. That's too much. This last story. Again, a little creepy. This... Little okay. creepy. Little okay. cute. Little creepy, little cute. <laughs> little creepy, little cute. I don't know if there's two things you can put together. Kinda. 
It's, yeah, there are some baby dolls. Like those baby dolls mom likes with those big giant eyeballs. <laughs> kind of creepy, kind of cute. Kind of creepy, kind of cute. Yep. So this girl, she was supposed to adopt a kitten. Um, but for some reason, her mom had told her that she wasn't able to. Um, so she it had gotten on Ridnautica. Okay. Did you Were hear what I said? something? I said, I said, because mom's no best. Oh. <laughs> So she had gotten on Randonautica and set the app's intentions as kitten. Okay. Um, she left, drove off to wherever the app was leading her. Um, she gets to like some point where it's pretty near where the coordinates are, but there's like a gate right in front of her. And she, I don't know. She doesn't live there. She doesn't have a key okay. to it. She can't go okay. and buzz in and be like, let me in my kittens in there. Yeah. So she just, she turns around, goes back to her car. After she turns around, though, a cat runs out of the forest and just, like, follows her to her car. Oh, did she keep it? I think so. I think she did. There wasn't a part two. There wasn't context. Okay, that's also annoying. Update us. Don't leave details out. Update us! I like to think she kept it. That is kind of creepy, kind of cute. It is. It's like creepy that it there was a cat there, but it's but cute. it's cute because she she got a cat. Yeah, that is cute. That's oh. all of my stories I have. That was good. That was definitely after, not a topic I thought. That's an interesting topic. After hearing those, do you think you would go random nodding? Um. Again, like I said, with geocaching, unless there's money involved, no. Well, what if you? Win and know. like he- set your intention as money, and it brought me to the bank. <laughs> I don't know. It kind of sounds. It sounds like something fun. Like I definitely would. It do sounds like something money. fun. I would do it more than I would do geocaching, but not after hearing all the creepy stories and how accurate it is. I think I would do geocaching more than random nodding. I think if I was like, you know what, I want to go hike somewhere. Let me just turn on geocaching on this trail. See if there's anything nearby. Yeah, that would, yeah. And it's like, you know, you're going somewhere with an intention. It doesn't feel as, I don't know, annoying as just walking to walk. True. I think it could be fun. I think it could be I don't think so. Seen too many scary things. Don't think I'd ever do it. Yeah, but then, like, the part of me is like, I want to know how accurate it actually is. Mm-hmm. Well, you can know and just tell me about it later. I honestly probably, I would type it in and I would honestly put the coordinates into Google. If I'm yeah. being honest. That would be my random nodding adventure. I'd be sitting on my couch doing it and not leaving my house. Yeah, but some things, like if you put kitten, you can't just put that in your Google. It's not going to show you where it is. Like some things you have to go there to see if it happens. I guess so. I guess I would see how creepy the location is and then decide if I'm going or not. Yeah. I don't think I'd ever put my intention as something creepy death. Or death. Yeah, no, those people are kind of dumb for doing that. They were asking for a bad time. Absolutely were. So I'd say our advice for this episode if you're going random nodding, tell us what your intention was. Yes. Yeah, so don't, don't just us- don't just say yeah. you went. Yeah. And update us. Don't just leave out good details. And don't set your intention as death. No, definitely not. Also, don't put bees in geocaches. No, that is horrible. Not cool. If you're going to do a geocache, be nice and leave money for people to take. (laughs) Rich people should be doing geocaching. They should be putting their money. I did see a good episode, or not good episode, a good video of someone geocaching where they had gone to... So there are rules with geocaching and one of the rules is you can't do it on private property unless you have permission. Right. Right. Um, But someone had set it on like his house, like his front lawn had Mm -hmm. set a geocache. Um, And he was like, just going to redo it and had given a guy like all the stuff that was in it because he got there right as he was redoing the geocache. Uh huh. So that was cool. He nice. was able to take yeah, things. Cool. Ugh, I don't know. That random naughty thing just creeps me out how accurate it is. It is. It's scary. 
All right. Well, I don't think I'd ever do it. I don't think I would either. I'm too scared with that kind of stuff. Oh, well, I hope everyone enjoyed the episode. Yeah, it was good. I did like that. Definitely very spooky and different. Go uh, follow all of our socials. Yeah, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, YouTube. YouTube that we have- things are finally uploaded to. Yeah, I saw that. Good job. I'm catching up. Good job, good job. Um, our email. Five stars on Spotify. Yes, That's what happens, right? Yeah, rate us five mm. stars. Leave us a comment on... Leave a comment on YouTube. YouTube. Um, Go like our Instagram post. Like our Instagram post. You can message us on Instagram. I don't Message us on Instagram if you have recommendations for episodes. Yes, or email us at sinisterstoriespod at gmail.com. All of our we'll have it. Is- we'll yeah. have it listed somewhere. Somewhere. You'll find it somewhere, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> if you found this podcast, then you can find our stuff somewhere. If not, you can message us what what's your email and we'll go here it is sorry yeah Yeah, pretty much but tell your friends tell your enemies because they're not our enemies that's true (laughs) okay we'll see you on for episode five next week are you gonna say bye you didn't say bye i was waiting for you to say it first (laughs) bye goodbye